Hello folks and welcome to another walkie talkie. In the last 24 hours we were hearing the Pishy Rishi Sunak, I say Pishy Rishi Sunak, is uh, talking about getting the 18 year old men into the uh, like uh, army. Now the thing is, my thesis is Pishy Rishi plays Call of Duty when he's off duty, right? And I think he's trying to uh, wire in what he knows from Call of Duty into real life. It doesn't quite work out, my little chum. Right, um, Call of Duty versus real life are two different things all the fucking giver. Right? When somebody dies, they don't get a, they don't get revived, unlike Call of Duty. Right, Call of Duty, you get revived all over the place, and you can pl practice your quick scope and uh, slay the noobs. In real life, you can't really do that. If you get done, uh, got doing that, actually, you get done. And you go to military court and you wouldn't be seen by the public for quite a long time because you'd be in military jail. And I think Pishy Sunak should actually be in jail or a mental health asylum because at times he has very poor relation with the truth, with common sense or anything that's surrounding him. He's just uh, saying things for either shock or short comedy value. Um, another thing, Pishy Sunak uh, should really be searching for as well. This, uh, you know, he's hammering down on the personal independence payment claims that belong to mental health sufferers. Right, everyone else is okay. The people that are maybe like quadriplegic, yeah, they can do their own thing. The people who are uh, on PIP because they've got things like ASPD and actual dangers to the society like pedos, they get um, a green card uh, and all other groups but for some reason Pishy Sunak is taking a rather hard hit on the mentally unwell, the mentally disabled, the dis you know like things like autism is getting hit hard by Mr. Pishy. That's not right. And some of his mad mental thoughts are actually getting put into practice right now for PIP and PIP new claims. I think it's absolutely sick. But then again, it's the bastards that run and the non-bastards that have to suffer everything that these politicians have to offer. And uh, it's good that it's Pishy Sunak has put laid down a, that should be on the road by the way. Uh, as I was saying, uh, you know, it's good that Pishy Sunak has came to his senses in some way and put, put his hands up and say, uh, general election. If he even thinks he's getting in, he's not. He's fucked us too hard and we're, we're bored of it. We need to say, no, Pishy Rishi. There's the keys, empty your, empty your wallets and empty your, your uh, wee cupboards in number 10. Take everything, put it in the back, get a first van and wherever you go next, enjoy your cod for a very fucking long time. You know, and, uh, and that other thing, remember Humza was uh, if you had triggered about white people. Uh, well, by the time Pishy Sunak gets uh, uh, punted out at number 10, you know, there's a certain colour gets restored. Mm, not so much, but, you know, uh, that would uh, doubly annoy uh, Mr Humza useless. Because not only was his uh, post assessor, person after, quite the first Minister has also got to bear in mind that uh, 
the Prime Minister could potentially be white. So, um, yeah, double diarrhea for him. Who, who cares? Anyway, it's nearly like, oh, it's five minutes. Anyway, uh, yeah, just want to say thanks to everyone for watching and uh, send loving vibes to everyone apart from uh, Pishy Sunak, Humsa Useless, or the SNP cult, and also um, anybody that likes to uh, trick their customers out of money so they can get a, a wee extra peck on the end of the month. Anyway, everyone, catch.